Well, hello, you amazing motherfuckers. How you doing today? It is your wonderful, lovable, huggable pal, Chris, a.k.a. Mr. Moon, 420, and I'm back with a brand new review. Sorry I was away last week. School came in the way, so you know how it is. First school, then reviews. Kind of wish it was the other way around. That would help me out so much better. But you don't want to hear about that. You want me to talk about the review. So, uh, first off the map, a couple weeks ago, I ordered this film from a group called Underground Gore Collector Films. Uh, it is, it's, it's led by Daniel Conan uh, out of Europe. Awesome motherfucker. He, he just, he does some amazing stuff. And it's a, it's a special film. Why it's so special, you ask? Let me show you. Because of this. This limited edition DVD clamshell that comes with a couple of posters and looks so fucking awesome. Uh, it's Amir Scalonia's Confession of a Homicidal Prostitute. I wanted to see this for a while because the trailers looked amazing. Uh, not only that, it comes in this awesome clamshell. I can't even fit on my shelves except the top one. All the way back there. I mean, just look how big it is. It's so fucking massive. <laughs> and I, I was in, impressed by then. Uh, when I spoke to Daniel, he asked if I'm interested in reviewing a new film that he's planning on distributing. And I said, yeah, let me do that. That'd be fucking awesome. Thank you. And I did. And wow, I got to say, uh, it, it comes from a director by the name of Z. Smith. No first name, just Z. Smith. And it's from this year. It is entitled Befouled. And I will let you know off the bat, if you're a fan of PETA, you may not like this film. I'm just letting you know firsthand. That way, when you buy it, you don't yell to me, Chris, what the fuck what was all this? Why didn't you tell me this? It's like, I'm just, I told you, I told you. That way, you're aware. Oh my god. Oh. Hmm. So, how do I tell the story of Befal? Well, honestly, I can't. Because. One, there is no script to it, there's no actors, there's not even narration for this film. It's basically a series of possibly traumatic events for people to watch. And it's not shock for shock value, it's a way to let you realize that there's horror out there, no matter what. You live, you die. You get eaten by birds, or you're a slab on a table for someone to dissect. That's how it is. Now, that's the whole process of the film, but it's done in such a way where you feel, ugh, there's a sense of dread to it. But in a way, that's what you want at times when you're watching films. Sometimes you don't need the happy, good vibes that come with seeing stuff like Moana or, I don't know, um, The Princess Bride. You, you, you need other stuff. You need other things to watch. You get that variety in your system. Now, aside from the fact that it doesn't have any written words or narration to it, there is ominous music to this film it the, the soundtrack it's, it's not even soundtrack it's just weird disturbing music that goes along with the vi visualization of the film and it works so well that it leaves you with a sense of like, dread but you need that at times although i'm saying if well if you're in a suicidal state of mind you may not need to watch that because it might you over the edge and Lord knows we don't want that do we no no there is animal destruction in this film I mean it starts off with a whole bunch of uh, animals eating a decaying elephant in reverse time so it, it starts off with the decay of the total decay of the elephant but it you know reverses time and shows you uh, it was just dead, and then it continued from then on. 
there's a the, uh, the editing to this film it's done for most part there's a mirror effect to where it's the same uh, same footage on each side so then it crosses over and that works really well with it you you need to sit through and watch and understand what's going on sometimes it it, it takes you couple minutes to understand it's like, okay, okay this is what's happening I will also let you know there is an autopsy part to this film that it just stays with you and it's and they go through detail like the same detail I, I saw when I watched a Roscoe the Embalmer that was a great great film documentary I, I like to think this is an art house nightmare this is if Andy Warhol went to hell and say Kenneth Anger waved hi to him but we're gonna have a good time almost a begone type of feel for some parts because some of its black and white others have a death yellow color distortion to it the the closest thing I could think of is dog dick and I know a lot of you because uh, James Well is one of my favorite directors and I, I gotta say I've I, I'm, I'm putting it with a, a good group because I as messed up as it is I really enjoyed it and someone I would watch again and someone I definitely want to keep in my collection now the big question is when I have this as a part of my collection I absolutely would this is unique and disturbing and messed up and people may not like it and that I like because it, it will f may offend few people I'm pretty sure of it not for the whole PETA thing I can understand that people would be upset if they saw on their you know they don't want to see animals hurt and that's I completely understand that I'm okay up until puppies and kittens get brutalized the other part it's a slaughterhouse it's understandable that's what's gonna happen but it's underground it's fucked up and it's different and I like that that's what makes it interesting if it was a film about a weed smoking werewolf I would probably bash my head against a wall. Oh, that way, that was an old episode. Uh, yeah. So, it's definitely something you would want to check out. I'm gonna actually going to give you a link to uh, Underground Gore Collector Films Facebook page. That way, you can get in contact with Daniel and keep up on any new films that he plans on distributing uh, through his uh, his company. And I, I got to say, it, it was. It was a pleasure reviewing this film. It was something I would have never found out if it wasn't for Daniel, and I gotta thank Daniel for doing that. Also, I will give you a link to my Facebook page. That way, if you ever want to talk to me about movies, or you know, you have a movie that you want me to review, I'll do that. I'll be I'll talk to almost anyone. Unless your name is Jennifer. And all you do is watch Ice Spin in Your Grave. All day. And every day because you're fucking nuts fucking nuts uh, so alright guys I will speak to you next week or if I have enough energy and ability to finish up my homework and stuff I'll try to do another one for you guys later this week I don't know when maybe Saturday maybe Sunday but who knows I have an idea what I want to review it, it might be interesting might be different or it might be something you may have seen other people talk about but until next time you don't have to worry about that so if you want to stay on top of when my new uh, videos are coming out at the uh, underneath my the video there's a bell you want to click on that keep make sure that uh, there's updates for you as to when the next uh, video will be coming out guys you're fucking amazing I love all of you even the ones that just still assume that I'm the scientist from Jurassic Park you know that thing from like almost 20 years ago or so I don't remember it was out a while ago but 
until next time, you rate, you comment, you subscribe, and you don't drink your Kool-Aid. Bye.